Hello, Minnesota Whiskey Fanatics. It's day 15. Today we have uh, a good one that I was looking forward to. This is Caribou Crossing. Uh, I want to thank Jim Cortez for that uh, whiskey today. Here we go. <clears throat> now, there are uh, a number of interesting things about Canadians and also uh, misconceptions, and that's kind of why I was so excited to talk about it. Um, I actually have some firsthand experience with Canadians. Um, and also how their whiskey is made. So uh, little do people know that Canadians are mostly, well, many people don't know that Canadians are mostly blended whiskeys. Um, what does that mean? It means that they are a base whiskey with flavor, flavor adder whiskeys. So uh, think of it as American light whiskey, uh, which is something that uh, people also don't know much about, but think of it as 160 plus proof, your sort of neutral grain spirits, if you want to call it that, um, that have been aged in barrels. And I think, uh, if done right, they're absolutely fantastic. But they're typically used in bases for blending. Now, these Canadian whiskey spirits, as they call them, are aged um, typically five to six years, sometimes a bit more. Uh, they're very light and they taste like uh, vanilla, maple, very, very sweet. They get a lot of the vanillin from the barrels, the oak barrels, uh, and that has to do with chemical reactions between the higher proof alcohol and the wood. But let's dig into this and uh, go from there. Now this one I believe is a single barrel, so uh, as I was talking about earlier, they have the Canadian whiskey spirits and then they've got the flavor, um, the, the flavorings, which are your rye, your corn, and such, and those are more traditional whiskeys. Those, those are what we would consider your normal rye whiskey. Um, so, here we go. Mm. I enjoy this. You know, a lot of people don't like Canadians, and I, I really hate that because I, I feel like they just don't give them a good chance. And, uh, the market, I'll be the first person to say, is is pretty thin. There aren't a lot of good Canadians on the market. A lot of them are proofed down. But you know what? If you come by a good Canadian, I'd put it up against any American um, rye whiskey out there. Um, Alberta, famously, uh, they bottle those flavor uh, whiskeys, the the actual rye whiskey, not the um, the base whiskey, uh, and that's really what made them famous from Alberta. I'm not 100% sure um, where Caribou Crossing came from. I can tell you, though, that uh, the Hunter, it's called Canadian Hunter, I believe. It's 90 proof. That's also a Buffalo Trace product, and that is a uh, similar whiskey to, I believe, what goes in here, although that stuff is a lot younger in age. Mm. You know what? For a nice, smooth, easy drinking whiskey, you get the rye notes, but you also get those classic Canadian maple and and sugar uh, notes. It's good stuff. It's very good stuff. Mm. So, um, something to compare it to. I was thinking about it for a while. I whipped this out. This is Alberta Premium show it to you. This is a uh, Canadian only. So I, I did get this when my uncle uh, went to Canada fishing. It is 1.1314 liters. So it's a big jug. Um, but this is 100% rye grain. So this would be, uh, my understanding at least, a um, 100% of that uh, uh, flavor whiskey. And it's very similar, very, very similar. Um, this one definitely has a lot less flavor though. I believe they are around the same age though. So <clears throat> this is just a good comparison. Um, this one, like I said, is, is great for mixing. Um, 
but again, this would be like your Jim Beam of Canada. So this is what um, most of the Canadians drink. Uh, one more comparison I'll do. Let me see if I can go and find it. This stuff's a bit special. Um, this would be a 14 year, so quite old Canadian. Uh, this one's 53% rye. Um, and this is one that uh, in my business life uh, with Obtanium Whiskey, this is one that we'll be sourcing pretty soon. So it would be cool uh, just to compare it. Now I will say this one's uncut. And it's 140 proof. It's uh, hazmat, so. You know, it's the same notes, but what I don't understand, I guess, is if you've got stuff that tastes this good, a barrel proof, why proof it down to even the... 80 of Caribou Crossing. I think that at a 100 proof, 110 proof, um, but 100 proof base. I'll, I'll give them 100 proof. Fantastic stuff. You could probably sell it for maybe five bucks more. Um, I think people would buy it. Uh, I, I think the flavor that you get after, uh, with that extra 5% uh, really goes a long way. So I'm going to leave everybody there. Uh, tomorrow we've got another good one. And uh, I'll leave you at that. Have a nice night, everybody.